What's going on, everybody? I am Jabby Kawe, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? Believe it or not, we have, neither of us, I've seen Commando, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Thanks so much for joining us on our first time watch. I think I've seen, like, clips of this that I vaguely recall from my parents watching it and then me getting shoot out of the room, because that's how old this film is. So, uh, if you guys are watching with us on YouTube, you're seeing a cut-down version of our reaction. We can only show a limited amount of picture-in-picture -picture here on YouTube, but if you want to watch the whole thing with us without any cuts or interruptions, head over to our Patreon page or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, you'll just need your own copy of the film. So you can open up so you can open it up side by side with our reaction. We give you a three, two, one countdown sync, and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite buddies from the internet. If you are watching with us on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching with us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. Pretty please vote to this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump into this. Here we go. They're bad guys, not just because they're trash collectors, but <laughs> like, why are they? Sounds like the garbage man. Dang, she sleeps with a full Tuesday. face of makeup. That's Hollywood. He just dumped the whole thing in there. That's not how you do kitty litter. I don't know. They look, they look sus to me. They look quite hey, scary. They're looking you at see him. the watch on the garbage man. Yeah, the other, the other one's got a afraid you'd miss me. cigar. Nope. Ah! Nope. No chance of missing. It's basically point blank range. That's it, and they're out. Yeah, they didn't even take the trash. How rude! You're gonna love it. This is style and beauty. Comfy, right? Oh, I know what you're gonna say. That's final, but take it from me, you don't want leather, brother. He keeps calling him brother. <laughs> it's gonna shoot him. You know what I like best? What's that? For you to shut up. The price. <laughs> Free 99, baby! Oh, oh, oh. Dang. But then, what? He just busted up his car. I mean, they say that you lose value as soon as you drive it off the lot, well, so. Well, it certainly did. He wrecked the suit and everything. Yeah, I think he killed the guy. <laughs> Everyone's giving looks. Oh! It looks like a... Uh, uh, Freddie Mercury. Oh. Sorry, it took me a second. I always have a hard time with Freddie Mercury's like, name. Tom Selleck? No. Like, who? Is that, is who that, else has a cool mustache? He looks like Freddie Mercury to me. He's out here just like taking everyone out and looking really cool while doing it. Wow. That's, that's music. A chainsaw. <laughs> Muscles. Whoa. That's some serious pump. Dang. <laughs> that's so silly. <laughs> just casually carrying. Do you, do you like the Jamaican drums? A massive log. Oh, I didn't even realize I was a steel drum. Oh my god, he's gonna get the rabbit? He got the rabbit. Today, I don't think you no, hear no. the steel drums or the saxophone. Oh, and a flute? Give me all the instruments. Uh-oh. Friend or foe? It's a kid. No? I'm... Yes. <laughs> oh, this must be the precursor to Jingle All The Way. <laughs> Daddy's shirts don't button up all the way. I cannot miss his karate tournament. <laughs> that was a terrible Arnold impression. <laughs> Is that Alyssa Milano? Oh, it might be. What's that army helicopter doing here? You said you wouldn't go away again. You said you were through. I'm not going anywhere. Famous last words. Jenny. Okay. She's cute. John, we've got a problem. Someone's killing your men. Oh. We'll nail those bastards before they get close to you. In the meantime, Jackson and Harris will stay here with you. Are they any good? Real good, but not as good as you were. Well, he really probably felt that shoulder muscle. <laughs> He's like... Oh, you're <laughs> <come out. laughs> I mean, you would. It'd be, like, kind of shocking, wouldn't it? You'd be like, oh, oh. <laughs> maybe... 
Let me just squish that a little bit. No, no squishy? Okay. Those guys do not look equipped to protect Arnold. Uh-oh. Dang. Dang. How did he know? Because he's really good. And stay out of sight. I'll be right back. Stay down, girl. Yeah, she knows. He's no one's gonna her. look under there. Well, they're after him, so maybe if they don't see her, they won't try and get her. Why doesn't he just keep his Whoa. bazooka under his pillow like normal people do? <laughs> I hope it's fully loaded. My people got some business with you, and if you want your kid back, then you gotta cooperate, right? It certainly looks like they took oh. her. Damn. Is she under the bed still? Wow, they're quick. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> we took everything out. What's he gonna? He's just going. He's gonna roll it neutral yeah. all the way downhill. Yeah, why not? He just needs to catch up to them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? His sounds are fun. It sounded like he was on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's pushing you like a I whole know. massive car. Here we go. Hernia. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> very, very off-road. He's gonna hit us. The music was fun. <laughs> they came in with the metal. They with the steel drums. Yeah, the steel yeah. drums for a hot sec. It's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's put that away. Bennett, I thought you were dead. You thought wrong. Ever since you had me thrown out of your unit, I've waited to pay you back. Okay, he's Australian. Do you know what today is, Matrix? No, he's South African. Oh, South African. I think. Payday. <clears throat> oh. He shot with a trunk. I right, thought. Little bit of back cave. <laughs> I know. A little bad in the case. I think right. he's South African. I'm not. Now you said Australian, and I'm like, oh. No, I, I thought oh. German initially. So South African probably makes more sense. I remember you, scumbag. Especially the people you've tortured and killed. You do not understand the country like Valverde. It is a country that needs a president who has an understanding of discipline. Why tell me? Because. You are going to return to Valverde. And you are going to kill the president that you helped to overthrow me. Why don't you have Bennett do it? Sounds like something he will get off on. Because President Velasquez trusts you. This is quite the cast of characters. Between all the villains? Yeah. If you kill President Velasquez, I will send her back to you. If you try anything else, I will mail her to you in pieces. You're evil. <laughs> uh, first class 7A. They got first class tickets? I was wondering. I was like, well, if you're gonna, you know, send him to kill the president, at least give him a first class or a business class seat. So we're gonna be serving our complimentary beverages, and then a little later on our dinner, Shortly after that, we'll be showing our feature film. Very quiet. You called it. The Foley artist sounded like he threw everything at the wall for that sound effect, though. <laughs> Excuse me, how long is the flight? We land in Valverde in exactly 11 hours. Thank you. And do me a favor. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. <laughs> Very James Bond line. <laughs> He just... Oh, he's gonna get off on the tire. What? No, but they're in the air. All right. There's no alarm bells ringing. Like so someone just opened the door to the. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Is this a real stunt? I don't know what's real. This is wild. That's a stunt double. Yeah. Oh my god. You you could only do so much back then, Ashara. That's why it's so cool. What are you gonna do? Oh no. Choices. Oh, in the, oh in the water. Oh my god. That would still suck. That would <laughs> suck. <He's> just <laughs> immediately. I wonder 
what people's reactions were in movie theaters back then. Well, my 740 flight to Vancouver was canceled. So, how about dinner? Yeah. Well, I can go to bed early, too. <laughs> Smoking indoors? Oh, wow. It really is 1983. Is that when this came out? I think so. Oh. Sounds like you need a date. Well, I don't. Oh, and this, I bet girls like you meet a lot of nice boys at airport. Listen, you're really bugging me. Yeah. Leave her alone. Well, I got something I'd really like to give you. Ew. I'm not interested. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. From here, it looks like a nightmare. Would you please leave me alone? <gasps> wow. Wow. Get in your car, lock the doors, leave. Get in the car. <gasps> Ted Bundy shit, dude. <gasps> I know. That's terrifying. Do exactly what I tell you to do. Listen, I've got a 7.30 advanced karate class and I can't help you. He had to take out the seat because he couldn't fit? Is that why? No, he's trying to stay incognito. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> it's just like, are you comfortable? He's sitting normal here. I know. That's why I'm like, why did you do that? That was a perfectly good seat. Can you tell me what this is all about? Yeah, a guy I trusted for years wants me dead. It's understandable. I've only known you for five minutes and I want you dead too. <laughs> I like her. Stay Thanks here. Thanks for the ride. You may leave now. No, it's not going to Listen to me. My daughter has been kidnapped. He's the only chance I've got of finding her. He had a whole car ride to tell her that. <laughs> what I need you to do is follow him, tell him you're crazy about him. Try to bring him over here and I will do the rest. You can go back to your normal life. Got it? No. Yeah. You're the only chance I've got. She has less than 10 hours left. Can you understand? They're gonna kill her. Okay. All right. What's going to stop her from just, like, running away at this point? Apart from the goodness of her heart. There's this huge guy outside in a green t-shirt. And he's a paranoid maniac. And he's kidnapped me. And I need your help. I'll check it out. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Are you looking for me? You better come with us. Rude. Back in the day, no cell phone. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> He's got a gun. What? You're joking. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> he didn't manage to make the phone call, but you better grab him. Stop! Or I'll shoot! No. Oh, okay! Now we're on board? Well, okay. Oh my goodness, here we go. Will that support your weight? Oh my wow. goodness. Wow, Spider-Man. Oh, wow, that's definitely Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> Back in WeHo. Oh, wait, that's the Sherman Oaks. Wait, it's the Sherman Oaks Galleria. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! oh man, her car. It's not my dick. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Literally the worst. Ah! Let's file a police report. It's a Beverly Glen. You're like, this is my hood. No, I know this road. I used to take it to work all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's very windy. I'm not 100% clear why she got involved. Oh, Whoa. damn. Listen, loyalty is very touching, but it is not the most important thing in your life right now. He picked him up like a kid. Is gravity. I thought he was going to kill him last. I know. You need me to find your daughter. Where is she? I don't know. 
I took those. I think you're where I'm supposed to meet him. But you won't. Uh, why not? Because I already know. Uh, oh. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's what yeah. you, you did. I lied. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was clearly a dummy. What'd you do with Sally? I let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they keep swapping in Arnold's doubles. <laughs> it's so obvious. But I mean, there's only so much you could do at that time. It's about her. Is this your daughter? You know, some people are using her to force me to do a job. If I don't get to her soon, they'll kill her. No, I knew they would kill her even if I did it. My only chance now is that I get to her before they find out what I'm doing. All that matters to me now is Jenny. Okay. I really hate it in movies when they do this. Stay put. Very boring room. She's gonna be like, I'm gonna find a way to escape. My daddy trained me. And she gets to put her karate lessons to use. It's true. We need to see that come back. <laughs> Let's cook. Mess up the bed. Uh, it seemed like it was messed up already, but all right. Take off your clothes. <laughs> I knew it! Damn it. Open it. Princess. Open the door. Move back over there. Uh oh. Hey, Sully! Can't hear you. Oh! <laughs> that guy's tall. Oh shit, lady. They work together in Predator, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like I recognize him. Looks like the Green Beret's gonna kick your big ass. I eat green berets for breakfast. <laughs> Very hungry. I can't believe this macho bull. <laughs> hey. Whoops. Oh my goodness. That was definitely a forward roll. Wow. Wow. Why are you throwing up? <gasps> Coke. What did he land on? A chair leg? A piece of door, I think. I don't know. I think I found something. Look at this. What is this? Coastal is a fuel depot that supplies planes. To whom? The airlines? Usually smaller private aircraft. I'm getting my pilot's license, and this is where my instructor gets his fuel. Oh. There are a lot of warehouses in the down the street. Aries must be keeping a plane down there. Let's go. We'll take Cook's car. He won't be needing it. Psh, no shit, he's dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at the people up there watching. I don't think that was intended. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I what? love that our girl is training to be a pilot, you know? She's so well, useful. It'll come in handy. That yeah. and the karate lessons. Yeah. We'll take Cook's car. He won't be needing it. <laughs> so silly. Who wrote that? <laughs> Jokes. I was just gonna... Wow. Man, he broke through that state-of-the-art security system like nobody's business. Uh-oh. <laughs> He loves picking people up. All right. His coordinates are somewhere in Santa Barbara. <laughs> I'm the governor of California. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it's like, Santa Barbara, what's that? Like yes. an hour away with no traffic? This must be where they've taken Jenny. Look. Here's a photo of an amphibian airplane. Okay. Right. Type 4 fuel is amphibian. 250 gallons is what it would take to fly this plane to the island and back. She's got great hair. It was refueled at pump station 32, Pacific Pier. That's San Pedro. So how long does it take to fly to the island? About two hours. Dang, they're running out of time. Are we going to the plane? Not yet. 
Did they just left the Where car parked outside like that? Shopping. Who's gonna bother? Oh, yeah, get some pants. We're going shopping. I love shopping. Are you going back to the mall that you like destroyed? I oh, know. I don't think it's the fun shopping. Yeah. We're getting some guns. This isn't shopping. This is stealing. Well, conveniently, there was some construction going on nearby. There. <laughs> Maybe you could get some combat boots. Yes. Or yeah. Some, something. Some clothes. Come on, girl. Some fatigue. You're you're like running around in your little pumps. I'm sure your feet hurt. That's what exciting. are we going for? I would like all the guns, please. She's really pretty. She is very pretty. Some explosives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get some... Wow. You can just go into a shop and buy all this stuff? I don't... I don't know. America. Uh-oh. Don't even think about it. What? What? I mean, I guess he wouldn't hurt law enforcement. They're not bad guys. Right, the people at the mall, they're evil. Yeah, no one likes mall cops. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> He's gonna break out, it's okay. Oh God, five hours? Hey. Hooker, not bad. Did they just say she was a hooker? I don't know. I, heard, I, th I thought I heard that, but... Did they say hooker or I thought I was. I thought I was just being... Uh-oh. Bad. I think she's got something for us. <laughs> I bet she does. A, a <laughs> rocket launcher. I guess they didn't see oh, that. Oh my god, really? You... Do you know how to... Nope, you don't know how to use that. This is Jesus LA. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Are you trying to save him or kill him? Where did you learn how to do that? I read the instructions. <laughs> this is such a silly movie. When they, when they picked him up, they didn't see all the gear in the back of her car, including the rocket launcher. <laughs> oh no. What's wrong? This isn't a plane. This is a canoe with wings. Well then get in and start paddling. <laughs> He's very good at keeping his eyes open while he shoots. You got it. This wow. is like the worst shootout ever. They're like hitting They're everywhere. They're both just going like this. <laughs> Except for him. That guy's road was longer than the Fast and Furious 7 highway. <laughs> like, or whichever film it was when Gal Gadot died. So what are we gonna do? Swim out there? I don't know how these things work. They really couldn't get her some boots. <laughs> I know. Oh dear, did it land early? Ah! Whoa. He looks really dead. Is that? Remember the message. Good thing we saw that. Amanda, wow. Kirby, code red, coordinates, got it. Whoa! <laughs> Careful, Matrix. Good luck. They got Arnie a bikini and they couldn't get her some boots. Or a bikini. <laughs> Dang. I guess maybe he just, that's his underwear. That's just what he wears, you know? Some guys wear boxers. He's like, I wear Speedos. Wow. He's got a, oh, he's got a whole outfit. Wow. I was gonna make a joke about guns, but like I'm just too distracted by everything that's going on. How much time did that eat up? Him getting all like. <laughs> oh God, he looks terrible. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Mr. One Man Army over here. Whoa. God damn. Whoa. 
Guys. Aren't you so glad you checked to make sure that your daughter wasn't in there? So glad you could make it. Oh, you psycho. Don't tell me you saw the mannequins. Right there. <laughs> There's what? a mannequin right oh, there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> It's all a dangerous stunt for the stunt guys. There were like all the debris. Yeah. Uh, oh, she's out. She's out. Yeah, she's just a little girl. Dang. All right, all right. Take your leather pants. Taking everybody out. Yeah. Uh oh. Dang. Roll. Okay. He, he didn't roll. He messed up with me on that one. Yeah. Oh, he he is getting messed up though. Oh, what have we got? All, <gasps> all things considered, he's doing exceptional. Oh my gosh! Pitchfork, blades. Let's go. Oh no. What happened? To start shooting. Just shoot. Just... Whose side are you on? <laughs> he's been hanging out on the ceiling like a bat. Like like Peter Parker? <laughs> yeah, he's just like, jump. Because where else? Oh, or on the floor? I don't know. He jumped out the window. <gasps> Whoa! I was right! Let's go! Oh! Ah! oh. Oh my god! Die! He's topless! Rapido! Oh, watch out, kid. <laughs> He's just like walking around with a little knife. Yes! It's like an Assassin's Creed takedown. Yes, it is, very much. <laughs> It's like, I can shoot with one hand. Watch me. The choreography of these shootouts is so hilarious. He got him. Where's Jenny? Come on. Where's his one-liners? Where's the one-liners? Yeah. <gasps> if there's no one there to hear a one-liner... Does it need to be said? He's being outsmarted by a little girl. Oh, Lord. Jenny! Daddy? I thought you were smarter than this. Why are you like this? Come on. Ooh! How's your arm, John? Come over and find out. No, thanks. I think I'll take a pass. John, stick your head out. No. Bennett, stop screwing around and let the girl go. It's me that you want. <laughs> I have only one arm. You can beat me. No, you can't. I can beat you. <laughs> I don't need no gun! You threw it at them. Yeah. I can Wow. Very dramatic. Go. Just close your eyes. You don't want to watch this. Yeah, see, I told you. You're getting old. Nah. Now you're both down to one arm. You left yourself wide open. Whoa. Okay. Oh, right in the kisser. Oh. Whoa. Oh, right in the kisser. It's toasty. No, 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 not you. That's no. real. That's a real yeah. flame. And they're right next to it. God, it must be so hot. Eek. 
Kazooks. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> this must have been awful to shoot. Maybe they're fake flames. I don't know. What, what are you talking about? Oh, no. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, he came back. He came back. He came right in. <laughs> hi -ya. Ouch. Oh, what are the kidneys? Oh, goodness. What's it feel like to be a dying man? You're a dead man, John. Bullshit. Bullshit. You're dying, okay. Throw him in the fire. Oh, what? John. Where did that come from? Shoot you between the balls. Let off some steam fennel. <laughs> oh, she's fine. She doesn't need a therapist. I did not watch my dad just brutally kill someone. Leave anything for us? Just bodies. Huh? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> because he's a daddy now. I'm sure you understand. Until the next time. Until the next time. Did they do a sequel? I don't I don't know. Oh hi. Oh hello. Hello, new mom. <laughs> Damn you fine. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> I think Alyssa Milano had the best acting in this whole movie. I love that Arnold's arm is hot, is all fine now. <laughs> Merely a flesh wound. That was quite the movie. It was quite the movie. That, that was Bill Paxton. Yeah. According to. Wow. The, I mean, everyone this, has to start plane somewhere, right? Is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Go home, plane. You're drunk. Plane Get out of here. Does not know where it's headed. It's going in circles. <laughs> I don't think she should be a pilot. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's still training. She yeah. wasn't trained on this plane. It's fine. This was a... Uh, it was a movie. It was a film of its time, for sure. It really sure. was of its time. Um, between the music and Casey Neistat, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> yeah, wow. That it, was exceptional. <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of is like a time capsule of the... 80s action movie, right? Because you've got your action hero in Arnold Schwarzenegger. You've got your cheesy one-liners. You have explosions and if I had guns. To, if I had to guess, I, I would imagine the Wachowskis love this movie. Why? Um, well, his name is Matrix. <laughs> this film, the trilogy is called the Matrix trilogy, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's that scene where at the mall where all the mall cops, the Paul Blarts or whatever, uh -huh. are piled on top and, he exp and they just fly off of him like all the Agent Smiths and Reloaded. And the whole pipe thing, there's a death just like that in Matrix Reloaded towards the end of the movie. Oh, I don't even remember. So, and Joel Silver produced both. I don't know. Is is it a coincidence? Maybe. It's not. If they're really following you, you're not paranoid. Are you still? I think the saying is, "Are you still paranoid if they're actually following you?" Or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. It's not a conspiracy if it's true. Yeah. The the action was interesting. I mean, obviously, we're looking at this through the lens of 2024, so it's well, we've you know, it's come a, little a different. long way. Yeah. The, right. The the there was a lot of stunt double stuff, and while it was like. Wow, that's obvious. That's a stunt double. I appreciated it at the same time because you saw that they were doing actual stunts. Yes. In, in whereas today there's a lot of green screen and stuff like that or CGI. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And there's definitely an appreciation for the fact that, you know, back in the 80s, you would have had to do that all practical. So like it was yeah. things getting blown up and like you, you feel it, you know, yeah. like it looks really cool. Like when all of those warehouses just like blew up all of the same time it was like whoa bill paxton was actually in um true lies as well another arnold schwarzenegger film oh 
show. Yeah, he plays this jerk that's trying to sleep with Arnold's wife. I don't know if there's any other Arnold films where Bill Paxton and him have worked together. Those That's the only other instance I can think of, but it's just, it was funny to see him here. When you associate someone with being huge and famous, like seeing Daniel Day-Lewis in this small role in a movie, yeah. it's like, that's, what's he doing there? He's too good for that, you More know? like Ben Affleck in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, yeah. I don't remember that, but anyway. The movie, the movie. It's like there's this vibe to the whole thing that I feel like we still kind of do today. You know, you have this like brute guy with this character, the, the lady who is the total antithesis. And so in there yeah. lies some comedy. He's got the little girl. So there's like a soft spot. Yeah, there are definitely tropes yeah. that are being played here. And, and it's fun. I mean, at times I did find the the lead actress just a little bit funny just because, you know, it was very stereotypical of like the ah! Oh my God! You know, okay, but, you know, but in fairness to her and the writing and the direction, I didn't feel like they went overboard. I felt like it was within the realm of cheekiness and believability. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. she actually had some good one-liners and it, she did. You know, she did. Th there was a sense of realism to the thing where she's like, I'm involved in this, but this is insane. Just sometimes I was kind of like, okay, this is this is a lot. What but, would you have done different? No, but but the thing is, right, watching this now, um, it's you know, we're in a we're at a different time. And so it was much more common for that kind of trope to be played out a lot more. You know, I like it. It's fine. I think it's fine. Okay. I mean, if you reverse the genders, I'm still into it. You know, that's true. So it's <laughs> it's fine. It's funny. Like it, it, I thought there was some good comedy in there. The one liners, they stand the test of time. Let off some steam. <laughs> I let him go. <laughs> he won't I, need his car anymore. I, <laughs> Santa Barbara. <laughs> how is that? How is that a funny one liner? It's not a one liner. It's just funny hearing him say Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was this very early on in Arnold's career? Um, I think it was shortly after Terminator. The Terminator was like, that was the film that really, really put him on the map. I feel like. Acting wise, it's it's still like a, a very stilted Arnold Schwarzenegger That never goes away. <laughs> I feel like he gets a little bit better as we go along. Yeah, well, with Jingle you know? all the way. <laughs> Who told you you can eat my cookies? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? In Terminator 3, talk to the hand. I need your clothes, your boots, and <laughs> whatever the fuck he says. Did you see Terminator 3? It's awful. As a follow-up to Terminator, I feel like this is the... This, is, this film per did what it needed to do. Right? I, I don't know what how many films were between Terminator and this. It was the following year. And movies took longer to get made and come out, and so... Well, yeah, I mean, he was, like, the quintessential action hero. They had, to, they had to explain in the film, like, he's from West Germany or whatever. Like, yeah. they bothered to tell you that. <laughs> that, they, he's, that, that he's goes German. away. <laughs> yeah. That goes away in later movies. Like, they don't even bother with that anymore. <laughs> so this is the one time they, need, they felt the need to explain it. And so I feel oh, like yeah, that's interesting. I guess you can join the U.S. Army, right, as a foreign national, and then you you get uh, you you get to become American I if don't you know. join the army. I Maybe that's what he did. I don't know anything about that. I don't know. I just read this today that that was an option. I didn't even know that. I, I just don't think that the U.S. Army was done justice for lending their helicopters. <laughs> it's like they all showed up with their guns aimed at Arnold who's just walking with Alyssa Milano in his arm and like none of them are saying stop or we will f***ing kill you. <laughs> like, it's, it's not a good look for the army, but it's fine for the movie. Are you okay, bro? Yeah, I just killed a bunch of people. I left you some corpses. Yeah. Good luck with the cleanup. It's a silly film, but it was fun. It's, it's a fun 80s action film. It right? is. Like, it, just, it very much is like everything you'd want from a film of this era. It did it all. Between the one-liners, the silly action, the silly whatever, like one man army against all these people is just like perfect perfect supreme accuracy standing out in the open but it takes one shot in the entire action scene yeah and i, I don't and he's like completely bare-chested yeah like come at me bro well, and he, no one got him he got bare-chested after he almost got killed by the grenade remember he went into the woodshed uh-huh and then did the toby Maguire? yeah because it was so uncomfortable to yeah. wear clothes they really shouldn't have gone like full-blown toby Maguire on that shouldn't they where they like <laughs> some guy walks in and then like a drop of blood comes down onto the floor music the james horner score very interesting what james horner do? that's his name is james i feel like horner, it's been everywhere he did titanic oh my god 
I'm pretty sure he did Titanic. Yeah. yeah. See? Braveheart, Legends of the Fall, Avatar. He's done a lot. This was his opportunity to do the steel drums. I feel like he maybe had just discovered a steel drum and was like, This has to go in the this movie. This is it. This is the sound. I will only I will only do this movie if I get to use the steel drums. Yeah. You know? Let me convince you. I, I feel like that kind of negotiation happens all the time. I mean, Steve D'Souza, who wrote the movie, that's how he got Street Fighter. He's like, I will I will write this draft for you for this film, for your meeting with Konami or Capcom, if you let me direct the movie. And the, the exec was like, fine, you can direct it. This dude, Dan Hedea, is he actually Spanish? I was wondering the whole time, like, is this guy even Hispanic? I wasn't that far off though. Born in New York City, is like, that's pretty close to Jersey, and Jersey's where The Sopranos takes place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it was like either that or everybody loves Raymond's older brother. You know, that's like that's who he reminded me of. And Radon Chong, my God. What a lady. Yeah. What a lady. Beautiful, beautiful lady. It's really neat to watch this film 40 years removed, I guess, almost, because it came out in 85, right? Shoot, it's oh wow. Yeah, so it's really neat to watch this 40 years removed knowing what's ahead. You know what I mean? Like, this is before Predator. And so, and Predator is one of his biggest movies of all time. This is before Terminator 2, which came out, I believe, in 92. Where's Andrew Flash Gordon when you need him? Uh, yeah, so, for uh, all of the stats yeah. on his favorite actor. Yeah, and so, like, Terminator 2, I don't believe, came out until 1992, and or 91. It's just really neat to see this, like, time capsule, the like you said. Yeah, yeah, just, like, where where this falls in line with everything else, because I think this helped propel into the next thing, into the next thing, into the next well, thing. Well, yeah, like, he's really solidifying himself as the actor action star of the 80s and 90s yeah you know i just wish there was like a recording out there of the audience reaction because i want to know if people were just like invested when they were watching it or if they were laughing you know what laughing at things they shouldn't be laughing at right you know what i mean yeah like the silly line we can take cook's car he won't need to die. I, I can't do his accent but you know what i'm saying like that was such a dumb line <laughs> it's, it's a trope that we see a lot in mm -hmm. 80s movies right so i imagine that it was probably something that people enjoyed you know like this is entertainment it's it's fun yeah it's not meant to be serious like it, it's a dude who has like massive biceps yeah he's coming out of the airplane in a freaking speedo where'd that come from i mean i guess he could have been wearing it the entire time but he comes out no you're right he's shooting people up you know you're right you're absolutely right. I mean, because things just evolve over time. You know, at one point, Orson Welles read War of the Worlds and people like went and off to themselves out of fear that the Earth was being attacked by aliens. There was a film called The Incredible Shrinking Man, which was like mind blowing at the time. Yeah. But so I can imagine that at the time that this came out, it wasn't considered cheesy as much. It's just gotten cheesier with time. And you know what? I love cheese. I want steel drums now. <laughs> Jesus is fine. I want to put them in everything. Yeah. Lit off some steam. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that in the steel drums. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is... Achara Cook. Peace out.